This recording is for Seward members only. Okay, so when Ibu Rahayu dies, who do you think should replace her, if anyone at all? I, I don't think anyone should or could. You know, that's sort of an interesting question. Uh, it's a good surprise question because um, I, I don't think of Ibu. I, I really respect Ibu, and I, I know that Bapak, I heard Bapak say things about her that caused me to have more respect for her than perhaps other Subu people in a certain way, of course, spiritually. But um, I, don't, I don't think that it's a, a replaceable position. I don't think they're taking apps. Mm -hmm. I've actually thought about this. Uh, I don't think anybody should replace her unless they perceived uh, to do so before she passes. Yeah. I think that we as an organization can go forth without such a leader. I think we have enough leaders in here that will make it work without her. But I think she's doing a great job where she is right now. You should be the leader, Hamilton. <laughs> but I think it will be the next step for Subud where it is our next growing phase in that we have to step up to be Subud all together and to test and receive without her guidance. So, it will be exciting. Well, I was just involved in these talks trying to figure out who the next USA chair was going to be. I think that was going to take a long time to figure out. But, uh, you know, I guess they're going to have to do it the democratic way. But yeah, eventually someone should take it over. I'm starting to get, starting to walk down a, uh, a path that really shouldn't be going down. I thought about that a lot, and uh, it's almost like, like, like they need a, need a figurehead, or they need like a, a spiritual guru. To the point it's almost getting Buddhist, you know, we're getting this like Dalai Lama is reincarnated. You know, how did Christianity go after Christ left? How did Islam go after Muhammad left? Same thing, you know, so it'll probably get bigger and spread worldwide. <clears throat> and the crazy thing is like there's various people kind of setting themselves up to replace it. Like, I don't know, um, I think it's a bad idea. I think it's kind of missing the point. It depends on the door. The door. In other words, evil is sort of like a door to another world. And you just have to see who's the next door. If someone is. Different cultures will react to it differently. I think like I think that I think that um, the people in Indonesia might be more willing to to uh, ascend someone to the to the to the, to the chair as it is. The founding family now need to turn over the reins or relinquish whatever kind of implied authority they have to to the helpers group. I think that's what it was all about, was to have a, a um, international helpers group hierarchy that can handle the spiritual needs of the brotherhood. I really believe that Suman is ready for it, is for the international helpers to assume the role of Hedge you one responsibility, if you will, that uh, is not the same as Ibu Rahayu. Because she's Ibu Rahayu and she's, you know, Bapak's daughter. I think that in my readings of, of Bapak and, and tapes that he said that Subud was for us and, and that, you know, when he was gone, Subud would have to go on without him. And, I never expected Ibu Rahayu to fill the role that she did, and, and I really believe that um, Subud needs to just move forward without her, and, and my feeling is that at times she's overburdened with, with uh, all that people put on her, and, and um, it's time to let her rest and, and to answer those questions for ourselves. Well, I think to some degree we'll probably recycle a lot of the advice and guidance that we we heard over the many years uh, from uh, both Bapak and Ibu, and, um, and I suspect that there'll be people emerging from the Subu community that will have a lot to say about future development, about their, the progress of the Ladihan, the nature of the Ladihan in people's lives. I think it'll, it'll continue, and 
may not be uh, what it was, but everything changes. And I think that's what we all have to do is be willing to change. All right.